All right, good day friends. I'm Sriram and I'm part of dieselship.com team. And I'm proud to introduce you, dieselship.com is India's first maritime portal operated and managed by mariners exclusively for marine engineers. And today we are launching the first video based learning sessions for marine engineers. And let's go to the topic. Looking at these pictures, what flashes through your mind? It might be a beautiful tap and water flowing from it, is it? Am I right? Alright. If you look at this precisely, you can watch water flowing from this. And when it reaches the bottom, it's not in the same shape at it, at, as it is in the origin. And today's topic is, we will find out why water becomes narrower when it reaches the bottom. Uh, can you please concentrate on the boat? Alright. This is the water tap. Let's assume this is the water tap and this is the direction of the water flow and water flowing from the tap to some, let's say some beaker. The area at this point is, let's assume it is A and I'll shift from to this side and area at this point is A1 obviously when you open any tap and watch it the area keeps on decreasing and the speed keeps on increasing the reason why speed increases is due to the gravity every object on earth when it has a weight it is acted upon by gravity and the acceleration due to gravity increases the velocity of water now Let's get back to the basics. The flow rate, V, that is volume flow rate, is equal to area of cross section multiplied by velocity. This volume flow rate should be constant always. Let's say the volume flow rate or the flow rate simply at this point is 1 liter per minute. It should be same at this point either, 1 liter per minute. So, assuming the flow rate to be constant, let's see how the velocity differs. When I drop this object, it falls down. This is due to gravity. In the same way, water has a tendency to keep on increasing its velocity. So, the velocity of water particles increases. To keep the flow rate constant over here, the area must decrease. That is, when velocity increases, cross-sectional area must decrease. That is the reason the area keeps on decreasing when compared to this place and compared to this. Alright, let's move on over here. Alright, now volumetric flow rate is equal to velocity multiplied by cross-sectional area. So since the flow rate has to be constant, the velocity increases due to the acceleration due to gravity and it's compensated by decrease in cross-sectional area. That is what I showed you over here in this diagram. So whenever you open your tap next time, you can open it slowly and feel the difference in cross-sectional area at the top, top and the bottom where it reaches. Again, to conclude, in order to keep the volume flow rate constant, the increase in velocity is compensated by decrease in area. So for more videos, keep looking on logging on to dieselship.com. We will give you new interesting facts and more interesting videos. Thank you.